What is up guys, I'm back with another video. Today my brother and I are gonna be seeing who's the smartest. I got my brother here with me and we're gonna be applying the IQ test. Right now I'm in the international IQ test website and this is like it gives you all the information. For example, the IQ distribution, we got the, the bell curve, the bar chart, and it gives you a lot, a lot of information based on what the IQ test is. After we take the test, I'm gonna be summarizing uh, most of this so you guys can understand a little bit better what, of what this consists of. We have 30 questions to solve, and I think we don't have a time limit, so we can't take the, the whole day to do this test, and we can't use any external help, so I hope this gets pretty interesting. I'm also gonna have a stopwatch running to see um, how long we take to answer the questions. So to not make this video longer, let's begin. All right, so we're gonna begin in the count of three. One, two, three. All right, so this is the first question. I'm just gonna show you the first question to, so you guys can understand a little bit better. Uh, of what this <laughs> of what this consists of oh and the time I forgot about the time let's begin We're done with the test and guess what it charges bro bro i didn't want to pay there's sites out there that are free and i thought this was one of them but i guess not i should have just read through the terms and i'm gonna have to pay too my brothers and mine anyways i want to talk a little bit about what this site offers as information so starting from the top we have what is the iq test why take an iq test and we have all of this information we have the iq distribution um we have the, like it describes the high IQ individuals, the low IQ individuals. We have more graphics down here. It gives us theories, um, types of intelligence, types of IQ tests. But the thing that I wanna get into are the determinants of IQ. You know, what influences your intelligence. It says here that it's influenced by genetics and environment. Researchers have shown that genetics only contributes 55% to an individual's intelligence, and the remaining 45% of intelligence is said to be contributed by environment. Some examples are culture, education, peers, nutritional status, socioeconomic background, and so on. Okay, so we got the results of the IQ test. My little brother who's recording is gonna say the scores, but before that, I, we're gonna have to guess our um, IQ scores. I'm gonna be guessing his and he's gonna be guessing mine. So I think that he scored around 100. Like between 99 and 101. What do you think I got? Above 100. But like around where? Above 100, under 120. So he says in between 100 and 120. All right, so now my little brother is going to say the scores. Dale. Primero, Tony sacó 113. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, <I'm young. laughs> I thought I was going to get that in our race, Porque in the, in the website, like most people, I saw like a um, activity log or like the scores of all around the world. 90, 80, 70. And yeah, yeah. Like most, most of the people who do the test get between 80 and 90. And I'm like, I guess this is considered like a hard, a hard test because I did. It was some of the questions were difficult for me, so like the ones that were more most difficult, um, I took like between ten or twenty minutes to I answer didn't them. Understand shit. <laughs> <laughs> I took a long time to answer them. That's why he finished in one hour. I'm like, oh shit, he's done. And I took two hours because, I mean, it was difficult for me, and I tried my hardest. And you know, most of the things like after twenty minutes of just like. Going over them, I, I was able to understand them and answer them. Y el de Manuel fue... 112. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> wow! Dude! Oh, shit! We were close! For, oh, a, for un punto! Stupid. Holy shit! Dude! <laughs> but I finished one now. I know, okay, look, I was gonna say that. I'm smarter. I was gonna say that. There's <laughs> <laughs> There are IQ tests 
that do take in uh, matter the time that you take to answer the test. And he finished, like I said, he finished in one hour and I finished in two hours. It took longer for me to answer them. So, I mean, I don't think this website took in, took in matter the time. No, I don't think so because I read through all the shit that they say, all the terms. And they don't take in, I, I think, I'm going to read over them a little bit, but I think that they don't take in matter of the time. But he has a point that I took longer, and he finished, um, and so some things that I have to point out are that um, we both are in college. Um, I'm older than him by two years and a half, almost three years. And we both live like the same childhood and everything, because if you guys remember on the past clip, I said uh, the things that influence your intelligence, which is genetics and environment. But since we grew up both in the same place, you know, with the same system, education system, over in the U.S., then we came here, so pretty much like everything got mixed up in our, in our life, so we pretty much um, lived the same things. But you know, friends might influence also, because it's peers and other things. So by being at one point, that's like... I'm smart. Like... I mean, because I thought I was going to get lower than 100. Do you think you were going to get lower than 100? We both thought, well, I mean, at least I thought I was going to get between 80 and 90, and he did. He, he had a little bit of confidence of getting 100 in the, in the score. <laughs> no, but look, smell mine. I just took a shower like a normal. Smell like shit. Smell it. I just smell yours. Like a good smell it. They smell like deodorant. I know, spice. porque I, I did put deodorant, porque they do smell. But smell them! Be <laughs> closer like I did and to they you! They smell like Old Spice! But smell it! Look, 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 look how fucking wet they are! Look, Stop! Don't touch me! Con tu caemos pelitos! Stupid! Stupid! No, hasta para allá! What? What? So I think we did good, um, if you see in the IQ distribution, we're in between the average and the superior intelligence score. The average is 100 and the superior intelligence is 116, so it's in between. And adding to what I previously said, there's this thing called the Flynn Effect, where you keep on gaining more intelligence throughout, you know, your lifetime. So at my age, right now, my lifetime, and you know, everything that's surrounding me, you know, my college, family, everything that surrounds me right now. My IQ is 113, his is 112. And if I do it, like let's say in 20 years, I could get a higher IQ, cause you know, you keep on gaining experience and that's one type of intelligence. So for right now, I feel good with my score. Like I said, I thought I, thought I was gonna get lower, but you know, I feel good. Anything you wanna say? Add, this uh, express that, platicar. For the next Compartir. video, <laughs> for the next video, we're gonna do the I okay. feel stupid, but that shit wasn't that, it wasn't that bad, so. You by four points and me by three points, we were gonna get the superior intelligence score. I don't know, I got an exam tomorrow. <laughs> and I feel like I'll do bad. <laughs> but that's what I thought about this one, so hey. I'm not gonna run naked on the street. <laughs> <laughs> With donkey ears. And nobody wanna look at my torso. Let's use this as an educational video. And let's be formal and not do consequences like all these motherfucking YouTubers. Yes, fuck all them YouTubers. Fuck all them YouTubers. Look, you see what you see what it says right here? 113. I'm stupid. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Look, I don't give a fuck. I beat you by one hour, motherfucker. If I would have taken two hours. I mean 220. Fuck Albert Einstein. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> So what do you guys think? Am I the most intelligent for answering most of the uh, questions right? Or is he the most intelligent for answering the questions in a least amount of time? Comment down below. This is a report that the international IQ test gives after doing your test and after paying, of course. The first thing that we see here is our IQ score in big boldy letters, so we won't miss it. After that, um, it informs us where our score lies. Mine lies in the 68% of the population, which is in the average category. And if I go to my brother's report, it says the same thing pretty much, um, you know, since we almost got the same score, most things won't differentiate, so it's pretty much the same report. Then we get a general introduction where it explains how this thing is graded and the percentage of scores that lie in the different categories. On this question right here, what does my score mean? It pretty much describes you um, based on your score. Uh, for example, me, it says that I'm in the category of people that might have average reasoning and problem solving abilities. 
It also indicates that I may not encounter problems related to self-sustainability and independence. If we continue scrolling, we'll see some graphs. This test website gives us a total of 16 graphs, and I'll explain the first two so you guys can understand the rest. This is the title of this first graph that you see here. These numbers right here are the percentage of the candidates that um, participated in the test. And these numbers down here are the IQ scores. This first bar indicates that a 10.97, almost 11% of the candidates that did the test um, obtained a score of 70 or less. The next bar indicates that a 13.14% of the candidates um, obtained a score in between 70 and 80. The next big blue bar that you see right here is where I'm at. As you can see, it says right here, you. 53.78% got a score between 85 and 115. So my score of 113 lies in this bar right here, which is a majority. Then a 20.86% lies in between these scores and a 1.18% lies in between these ones. And if you can tell, there's a really thin red line right here, which indicates that there's a small percentage of people that get a score of 140 or higher. And I guess that since the line is so thin, it doesn't give me um, the information like on the rest of these, I decided to calculate it myself. The percentages of the bars are supposed to add up to 100%, so I added only the percentages of the first 5 bars, and from that I subtracted 100, and I got a result of 0.03%, which means that only 0.03% get a score of 140 or more. This second graph is pretty much the same, but instead of being globally like on the first one, it's based on my country, the country that I'm living at. If you go to my brother's report, you can see that um, the bars move around a little bit. This is mine, this is my brother's. You can see that um, the bars move around a little bit, but you know, like I said, it's not that much of a difference. Down here we have the other 14 graphs. Um, I won't scroll down that fast in case you guys want to pause the video and check them out. But yeah, each graph gives out helpful information based on your IQ score. These last two graphs gives us information of the top 20 study fields with a IQ score of 150 or more uh, globally or in the country. And like I said before, my brother and I are in college. We're majoring on the same thing, which is industrial engineering. Uh, he's specializing on manufacturing and I'm specializing on logistics. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you really enjoyed this video, if you liked this video, if you took something out of this video, Give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're new and turn post notifications on so you can get notified when I upload a new video. You can tell right away that I'm sleepy because of my lazy eye. This right here is my lazy eye look. It's like more shut compared to this one. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. that I got stressed out and I started doing it fast.